Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here we go. It is cold calling time. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to this, honestly. I just got to get comfortable so we can lay the hammer down. So some stuff I'm going to try today. Um, I'm going to do some calls, and I'm going to actually talk to these folks. These are people who are not on the market. They've come off the market. Uh, so we're going to kind of see what the reaction interaction time frame is. So a lot of you guys are watching it right now on the replay. I want you guys to do a couple things. I want you to go over to likely.ai. They have the newest uh, chat GPT software over there running. Uh, you can try it hundred percent for free. It is so much fun to play with boys and girls unbelievably awesome um so go there and take a look at that i think you'll love it and then they have some other really cool stuff there's some prompts and some other stuff i've been messing around with which i'm getting good responses from on the real estate side so um ba -ba -ba, let's jump in i'm trying something new today so i'm doing i'm watching my counts right so 109 all right let's check that out now let's move forward into the dials got the dialer system spun up. I am calling uh, properties that are expired or not on the market. So let's get this thing up and going. And then let's see what our response rates are going to be. I think they're going to be pretty good. Um, so far, it's been a pretty um, pretty easy dial session. Um, we have Paul Black coming in. Uh, Paul, I do not see you here, bud. I do not see you here. So I don't know how why you're not in here. But I will send you the link. And then you can come and join. Here, use this one, bud. Go back to the apps. Paste. Okay, try that one. It's the same one. Go to our chat. All right. Now, got that dialed in. Okay, we are dialing 1,050 properties. That is 60. 1,639 uh, numbers. So load dialer. That is loading as we speak. Okay, that's here. Let's see here. Hey, bud, I reset you the link. Try it again. If you guys want to make calls, come on up. Vortex, dial in with my number. Yes, sir. All right. Let's go. Here we go. Welcome to Wave. Press one to continue. I shall. Okay. Let's get at it. And the dialing commences. Let's go from here. Oh, Par Paul Black, aka Paul Marmerston, is dialing in today with us, guys. So, Paul, coming from SoCal, how is life, my friend? It's beautiful. It's drizzly and foggy up here in the mountains, but I have uh, I've uh, had some really good conversations today with people that want to do realty. Good. Tell us more about it. So, my very first call, uh, cold calling. Uh, hey, good afternoon. Of, uh, my name is Greg McDaniel. I'm uh, with EXP Realty here in Oakland. Are you the owner of uh, 802 Stone Street? Are you not? No. Oh, shoot. Um, okay, I'm actually just doing some calls to my office and I do them live for training. I record them. And it says that you're the person on record for property over there and it came off the market. You, you don't know that that's not your address at all? I don't own anything. Oh, hmm. Okay, no, well, it must be on my side then. I appreciate your time. Um, take care. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Okay, so the real question is, why didn't I press him for more? Um, oh, why didn't I? So, do you want to own anything? I, I, I swear to God, I think as a kid. Yeah. Didn't sound like anybody could buy. So you were picking up in good calls. Very, my very first call today, I was kind of caught off guard because I didn't expect somebody to pick up right away. And I didn't have a pitch ready or wasn't even thinking. Of, I couldn't even remember what area I was calling. And I just go, um, 
Hi, Paul. I'm a local realtor. Just uh, just wanted to see if uh, you might be thinking about your house. <laughs> that was my whole pitch. And went right into this great conversation. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I, I do kind of want to list it. And he was like, he had it listed before, but it was right when the interest rate started going up. And so buyers stopped. So he ended up renting his house. But he says he doesn't want to have a, a he doesn't want to have a, a tie with a house that's so far away from him. So and we've talked and talked and talked and talked. And uh, he wants me to get him a CMA and meet with him next week. And then a few, few calls later, Are you on the line with somebody? I guess Greg's tied up. Guys, damn it. I thought I was talking this entire fucking time. Nope. <laughs> uh, that's why I couldn't understand why you're like, why? Well, of course I'm not on mute. mute. And of course I was on mute. Yeah, thank you. Could have gone the whole rest of the show like that. Pretty much everyone been like, oh, finally he shut up. Uh, but no, I was saying that was a hell of a uh, hell of a call. I mean, talk about motivation to keep going, right? And by the, by the way, everybody, I am dialing right now. It's just pickup rates are really rough today. But Paul seemed to you know beat us all by getting a, a lead already. Yeah, well, and then a few calls later, I had a guy that wanted me to meet him at twelve noon for a listing appointment. So I went up and met with him, and it was a commercial property. Uh, hit it off with him really well. We had a lot of a lot of stuff in common, and uh, had a really good conversation. And then I said, "Would you mind if I go around and film your property? You know, for you know to show to potential buyers because I do have people, couple people that are looking for commercial spots that I might be able to sell it to." And then I was taking pictures of his old Bronco that's sitting in the yard there, yeah. and uh, started a conversation with the people next door. And those guys, he the guy owns nine properties. He's interested in maybe buying that spot. But he said, also, I would like you to find me a place. In, and we hit it off really well, you know, my age. And uh, he said he doesn't like all these top agents and stuff. He liked my personality. He said, he said, can you find me a duplex in Big Bear? So I ended up with a buyer. And a buyer that might want to buy the, the place that I'm trying to sell also wants me to find him another place in Big Bear. So it's, it's just been like one conversation after another about doing realty with not a whole lot of calls today but i was i was anxious what with the success i had with um hi my name is greg mcdaniel i'm looking for the owner of uh 452 valley vista ab here in oakland is that you by chance you shoo you talking about a car uh no i'm talking about a house uh at 452. Okay, so you're not the owner. Okay, do you know who owns that property? <laughs> well, I had to ask. Okay. Well, you know what? Thanks for the heads up and 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 the clarification. And as I drop my hat, she hangs up on me. Gam gam turned out to be a bad gam gam. <sighs> Paul, I guess a lot of people just seem to think that really cold calling is so simple. But it is not. It is not. But it's fun, though. Right, Paul? I mean, it's, uh, you have to meet a lot a blast. of people. I've only made like 10 phone calls, but I've talked to three prospects that are probably going to do something with me. But that's just today. Usually, sometimes I have days where I get nothing. But well, I'm, I'm yeah, that, that's make some more phone calls. Well, that's the whole thing. I mean, it's the whole st kind of the adage of, well, you know, I I got three appointments today, or I got you know good calls, or blah 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 blah, right? But yeah. if you, hello, sorry, the number you requested cannot be dialed. No shit. You know, hanging up on me, okay. Uh, what I'm saying is, like, uh, a lot of people don't really think about it, and then you're obviously one who does does think about it because a lot of folks just be, oh, I got these great lead, I'm done for the day, baby, right? Yeah. But, dude, think of all the money you're leaving on the table that somebody else, like me, would be calling, and not that I compete with you, but like, mm -hmm. you know, just another agent calling into the same people you're calling because 
you decided you felt like you did a lot of a lot of good for the day. You decided to take a half a day. Unless yeah. you're not feeling good or or you mentally just need a break. You just gotta step yep. that shit up every single day. I mean, wouldn't you agree? Yep. Keep plugging away. I decided that I was gonna make this uh an eight to five day of dialing, but then I got called away on a listing appointment which took hours and hours because it turned into two prospects that I was talking to on this listing appointment. Time well spent, but then time that's, well that's, spent. That's what your, that's your goal is to try to dial the set up to that listing appointment. So, Hey, good afternoon to you. My name is Greg McDaniel. I'm looking for the owner of 3124 Davis street here in Oakland. You're the owner, correct? I guess not. Cause it hung up on me again. I don't think Oakland likes me very much. You're calling Oklahoma? Oakland, Oakland, California. Oh. <laughs> uh, Mamacita macaronis. Have you ever sold a place in uh, San Francisco City? Yeah, actually yeah. I have. Cool. Now, was it, did I get it by prospecting? No. It fell in my lap because it was my girlfriend's house. Uh, wow. One of her houses she sold over there. But I, I will tell you, um, I don't mind selling in the city. I mean, there's a few little idiosyncrasies over there, but it's a clean contract. Like it's very intuitive. I mean, the the state California state contract just shifted to a to a better contract, in my opinion. So, why, hey, um... good afternoon to you. Um, I'm trying to reach the owner of a uh, 727 Bailey Road. Can you help me with that? Are you the owner? I'm I'm looking for the owner of of Bailey Road here in Bay Point. Are you are you the owner of that property? Hello. Uh, I think we're miss. I'm breaking up here, and he's gone. Okay, okay. What are you saying, Paul? Oh, do you, do you ever prospect in the city? I haven't. Why do you ask? Why not? Why don't you? Because I don't want to drive to the city. Oh, I see. That's a good reason. <laughs> when I can go door knocking right outside my door. Yeah. It's just like anything else, dude. Everybody's got their little click. And that's not a bad Please thing. It's just the way real estate agents five, run. Five, yeah. Three. We're I mean, yeah, little it creatures. Makes, makes sense to, to call your own area, <laughs> I guess. Hi, this is Lana. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not available at this time. Hi, Lana. Lana's a sweetheart. Who we got up in here is today's Jonathan. What up, homie? What up, Greg and Paul? Paul, say what up to Jonathan. What up, Jonathan? Mr. Hawkins. Jonathan, you making calls, man? For some reason, I'm not getting. Hey, good afternoon to you. Um, hey, I'm not sure if this pertains to you or not, but I'm looking for the owner of 1741 Church Street here in Oakland. Is that you? That is not me. That is that is not you, or that is you. That is not. Me. It is not you. Okay. Do you know anyone? Who, do you know anyone who lives in that address by chance? No. All righty. Okay. Well. That's on my side. All right. Thanks so much for your help. Have a great day. And the kid already hung up on me. You know why I'm excited about all these people who don't live there, Paul? Why? Because you know what? I'm able to hurt, thin them out as fast as humanly possible. And then I'm going to get to my yes. I have a want, need, and a desire. I lost an opportunity on a $2.7 million listing, the, the the individual that was going to list the home with me has a family member that is in the same trade crap that we're in, right? Yeah. And the child that, that's in the same trade craft, uh, you know, got a lot of my ideas and then went to another agent and decided to use that agent. Huh. And... Dude, I was going to put billboards up. I've already started marketing. I already had set up buyers for, to see it. And they're like, oh, yeah, we went in a different direction. I'm like, well, help me understand what I did wrong. And they're like, you didn't do anything wrong. So I'm like, so why aren't we working together? 
oh, because my, this other individual is going to handle that. I'm like, okay, so what could I have done better? Like, we couldn't. I'm like, well, fuck. How the fuck can you come back from that? And I can't come up with any way to come back from that. I'm fighting against a family member who has the ear of the homeowner. And I know I can do a better job. I don't know the other agent, but I know I can do a better job with all these wonderful listeners and watchers around the world. You know, we could really come together and network for this thing. And there's another potential of like another at least up to 12 sales on the back end. So I know these calls work because I found this lady doing cold calls. But today well, the they <coughs> they lost out, Greg. You're They're not going right to get people. nearly as much as for their property as you would have gotten them. I know. Absolutely right, Paul. They, they totally blew it. Talk about blowing them up. Hello. Hi. Um. Hi. Good afternoon. Um. Uh, my name is Greg McDaniel. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 632 Shattuck Drive um, here in Antioch. Is that you by chance? Okay. Do you live in uh, Antioch? He hung up on me. I think he actually. Uh, I think he actually. I think there actually was a language barrier there. Uh, resume. Paul, you're gonna get on a dial, man. Let's go. Let's do I'm this. I'm gonna dial. I was just. I was hungry, Greg. I had to eat something really quick, but I'm gonna dial right. Oh man, I. I would. I would love to get on a dial if I could get through to somebody. I mean, I, I, can't, I can't. No, I mean, I, I can't log into um, Red X for some reason. It's it's not letting me get my dialer going. Here, let me try one more time. I've had I restarted it once already while I've been. On, oh wait, I know what I'm doing wrong. I think. I know Jonathan's an old one. It's just I felt. Hello. Hey, good afternoon. Um, my name is Greg McDaniel. I am looking for the owner of Shirley Drive, uh, 1791 Shirley Drive here in town. That's you, is that correct? No. Hmm. Wrong number. Wrong number. Okay. okay. Um, I'm Paul. I apologize. Have a great day. Hey, I already hung up. Okay, so the reason why I didn't push on that is I just did a quick check and it's actually listed. Whoops. Oh. Oops. Some, I was not pushing that that bucket up a hill anymore. I was over that one. Uh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, bad. yeah. <laughs> Craig, I'm having technical problems. I can't dial into Reddix. Uh, close out your window and then start a fresh one. That's happened to me a couple times. Uh, I did that. I trash. did that. I've done that. Maybe I should restart my phone too. Oh, my phone doesn't look like it's getting reception. That could be a big problem. Okay. I've been having problems with this lately too. Let me turn my, and then I fixed it by. Let's see. I don't know what to do here. So I told you this. Um, I haven't got a response yet, but uh, did I reach out to Sure Sure Microphones, the one I have uh, I always use for the podcast and everything? How cool would that be if they actually let me like unpack and like play with some of their you know mixing boards and stuff on air to kind of promote them? I don't oh, have the biggest show on earth, but I mean that'd be kind of fun. Sure, should definitely do that for you. And it would be great. It'd be fun, dude. All we need to have is uh, have you lean on a couple of your rock star, little rock star buddies, and be like, "Yo, hello." Tell him, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Dude, they got so tired of just holding the phone. I forgot I was actually making phone calls, and I just put it down <laughs> until I heard that pick up. <laughs> Hi, you Jerry. Cell phone. Please leave your name. Your Hi, name Jerry. Bye, Jerry. I, I gotta restart my phone. See if do it. This will work. I don't know why I don't have any reception right now, dude. Since you already set an appointment, I wish we'd caught that on tape. That was awesome. Oh, here's a little quick question for everybody. Paul and I are part of a very exclusive uh, group of callers, a bunch of guys that get together every day, every day, every in the morning, and then a bunch of us kind of get together on and off throughout the whole day. Hello? Hello, hello? Hello? Schmucky, sh schmucky schmouse. All right, so that's going to be no answer. 
But Paul, I'm thinking about inviting all the guys on and we can do two podcasts with them because you can't get them all in one. Mm -hmm. How do you make your phone number not accept calls? No, but seriously, what I mean, how cool would it be if we get all the guys on, get them in two different batches, um, and then get them on, talk about different techniques for different parts of the country with different personalities, and then talk about numbers. And, you know, you're in a luxury, you know, second home market. You know, I'm in the San Francisco Bay Area. Yeah. Um, we got Florida yeah. being represented by Mr. Uh, Aaron Wittenstein. Um, we're slim and Nate, they're at a pencil, they're, they're at a Philly, cool. right? Yeah. yeah, Philly. I mean, we got all kinds of people. So, her name Joe, Joe's up in Fargo. Yeah, yes, yeah, but Fargo, yeah, yeah Joe and I just got up the line. All different markets, yeah, be fun, huh? Mm -hmm. This number is not accepting calls at this time. Okay, I think I might have reception now. Okay, yes, delete it. Dude, I was in Costco the other day picking up some just random shit. Dude, there are 4K. Hello? Please leave your message for 6266. 4K, like, Holy I think 75-inch. Hello? Hey, good uh, good afternoon to you. Um, this may not uh, pertain to you, but I'm looking for the owner of 2940 Tice Creek Drive. That's your address, right? No English. Do you live in Walnut Creek? I'm going to go with the no on that one. So all my recent texts just disappeared. When I restarted my phone, what the heck? What did you like? Do a hard, hard reset? No, uh, I just turned it off and back on. It's weird. All right, come on, guys, let's get some calls. Let's get some calls. All right. Oops, sorry, Rupert. Dude, my dog. I went down to a uh, meet with a client in about forty-five minutes away from me, and. Uh, Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm not sure if this applies to you or not. My name is Greg McDaniel. I'm with EXP Realty, and I'm looking for the owner of 428 Everett Street. Is that is that your property by chance? Oh, it's on the market already. Yeah, it's on the market already. Oh, okay. Oh, it is. Okay. I, I had information in front of me on my sheet that it was expired. Okay, so this is on the market active for one one million one hundred and sixty eight thousand. Is that correct? Okay, and is that a, is that a duplex or a single family, a triplex? Excuse me. Triplex. Triplex. Triplex, mm. and then the, uh, and then they have the uh, ADU has a full permit already. It's ready to go. I paid for all the permit already. Okay, perfect. Permit fee already. So you have. Yeah, you can you can uh, talk to the uh, yeah you can talk to the uh, agent Haven. Uh, Tuesday, we accept the offer. A lot of uh, a package out already. Oh, I could, I would not doubt it. Absolutely. You know, I will give them a call and I want to thank you. I know that we do these calls here live in my office for training pur pur purposes. And uh, there's a lot of conversations I have, but there's a, very few times I want to say congratulations. And this is one of those times. So, congrats and uh, go out there and get that property sold. It looks amazing. All right, bye bye. Okay, so we're a day late and a dollar short on that one. That's actually was a good looking triplex. That's not a joke. I think something. You know what? I think. Uh, I think my phone might have gotten hacked. Now it just blacked out. Why are you getting like midget porn or something? No, just it was like Apple wanted to do a diagnostic on my phone. I never get uh -huh. that, and they put exit because I didn't want to click on it. it, it would, it's forcing me to pick something, either have a diagnostic or not have a diagnostic. I click not, and then everything. So I hope I hope I'm not getting messed with here. That would fucking yeah. suck. 
and you really stuck to with all my reading. Oh, all hi. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Greg McDaniel. I'm calling um, from here in Danville with EXP Realty, and this may or may not pertain to you, but are you the owner of 124 Birch Bank uh, Place here in Danville? Birch Park, excuse me. Uh, the property, it looks like it was on the mar on the market last year and then came off the market. Did you end up selling that house or are you still yeah, thinking about selling? Think selling anymore. No, we don't want to sell right now. Okay. Thank you so much. Not a problem. What? Bye. Okay. Damn it. I just want to see why they didn't want to sell. Call them back. No, oh. she's going to yell at me. I could hear the kid in the back. It's just That's, that's just going to end up bad for me. I mean, I'm curious, don't get me wrong. So I tried to do a reel today. Yeah. Um, hello. Because you know that Ted Kaczynski was found uh, suicided in his jail like six hours ago. Really? Who's Ted Kaczynski? The Unabomber? Oh, that guy. I thought I thought he, yesterday I heard that he would die. I didn't know it was... I, Suicide I it was like, in the jail, jail cell, baby. Oh, I thought it was like natural causes because he was 81. Hey, good uh, afternoon to you. Um, yeah, hi. Uh, my name is Greg McDaniel. I'm a real estate agent in the area, and I'm not sure if this pertains to you or not. Um, I'm looking for the owner of uh, 2220, was it Karkora Street here in Brentwood? Is that you? <clears throat> Shoot, I've been hearing that all, I've been hearing that all friggin' day. Okay, um, did you ever live in that house by chance? Oh, sorry. I, I was just saying, I mean, did you ever live in that house by any chance? Live in what house? The house in Brentwood? Yes, sir. So no. I don't, okay. All right. I'll just take you. I have never lived in Brentwood. Okay. Huh. Okay. I will take you off this list then. I don't know how you got on there, but I appreciate you clarifying everything for me. All right. Thanks so much. Bye bye. Goodbye. That guy was fucking weird. But in all honesty, I didn't. I didn't handle that that well. I thought this guy would at least jump on. Hello. Please leave your message for four one five six. Well, of course, you gotta ask. I mean, you never know, right? I mean, I like Paul, but who knows what he's into on his own, on his own times. Paul, are you listening to me right now? I'm listening to you. Hello. I think I got my phone working now. Hi. Hi, I'm, hey, good afternoon. My name is Greg McDaniel. I'm not sure if this pertains to you or not, but I'm looking for the owner of 2950 Telegraph Ave here in Oakland. Is that you? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Hey, my friend, I'm a real estate consultant here in the area, and I saw that you guys came off the market last year, by, you know, Jan February of last year. Did you end up selling that property or not? Okay, um, you know, out of curiosity, what what was the what was the reason for waiting about a year to put it back on the market? Just, was it the market, or what what happened there? Because it's a cool looking property. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, doke. Well, hey man, good luck on that, and I uh, appreciate your time. Okay, bye bye. And it's a lesson to always double check to make sure your phone line is shut off before you say anything about the last call. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so he's relisted it. Yeah, of course I can. Dude, this guy, the agent, whoever priced that property I was just talking about, they had it on for one million one hundred and basically one point two million, right? And uh, <laughs> then they just they came off. 
and they dropped it a hundred and fifty one thousand and one thousand dollars. Wow. So now their listing price is one million forty eight thousand nine hundred. That's a wow. hell of a haircut. Wow. And the, dude, it's a it's a I think it's mixed use. Oh, it's a fourplex in Oakland. Oh, that, that actually might not be bad, but this thing looks like it got run over by a dump truck. Let's it up. When's the last time you spent time in Oakland? If it's broke, fix it. That's how you go broke, yo. All right, enough jokes. Okay, let's get back to dialing. It's going to be a great property for somebody. Uh, and I have no problem, by the way. I'll be really clear about this. Sorry, I have Greg, no problem I'm trying to get the dialing, but I can't get it. It's okay, man. Hello? Please leave your message for... Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. I love doing my calls and yawning. Hello? Please leave your message for five, one. If Paul would jump on the line with us, this would be fun. All right. I'm going to see if it'll work. I think I might have it. Let's see. Let us see, my friend. Oh, oh. Zoom, zoom, zoom. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, hey, good afternoon. Um, my name is whoops, almost dropped the phone there. Uh, my name is Greg McDaniel. I'm not sure if this applies to you or not, but I'm looking for the owner of uh, the property here, International Boulevard, here in, in, in Oakland. Uh, 10222 International. Are you is that your property by chance? No, I'm not the owner. I... You're not the owner. Shoot. Okay, do you know the owner by any chance? No. You don't. All right, my friend. Appreciate it. Hope you have a bless, blessed day. Okay, I'm running here that we must find somebody. It works, Greg. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Yay! Let's get to work. Let's get some. Let's get some sales. Here we go, guys. Sales, sales, baby. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. That came out really weird. <clears throat> Dude. <coughs> see here. Cold call. I'm I'm, uh, I'm having some fun with um editing little thumbnails. Do you, do you get all Huh? Do you ever get like all hyped up about dialing and all excited about dialing? And then you get, you, you start, you know, talking and having these conversations and stuff. And then you want to keep dialing. But then all of a sudden, somebody wants you to come meet them for a listing appointment. And you think, shoot, that means I have to leave dialing. Yep. Every time I'm <laughs> dialing, I'm, 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 I get, you know, I'm hitting. Even though that's the point. <laughs> yeah. Even though that's the end goal, it's like hitting on a bunch of, you know, attractive girls. Oh. And then uh, once you finally, someone says yes to you, you're like, I got to go. We got to see what the next where the where the next one's at. That's been that was my problem sometimes, you know, and going out in clubs and stuff. You know, I've, what girl am I going to go home with tonight? I know this one wants to go home with me, but that one does too. But maybe I can find somebody better. And then at the end of the night, you don't go home with anybody. Then it's all by yourself, back to cold pizza, yeah. and into an unmade bed alone by yourself, crying yourself to sleep. You can't decide. Mm, hugging your binky, you know. Not you, the other people, of course. I drink until you pass out. Oh fuck yeah! In fact, I used I did, when I was my, my heaviest of drinking. I was doing some dumb <laughs> shit, and I was one of them. Uh, dude, I feel so much better not being that dude anymore. Yep, me too. Oops, come here. That was a long time ago. I don't remember that person. <laughs> Now, you don't want to remember them, or you physically can't remember them? Um, don't want to. No, I don't, want to. I don't forget the password. Don't regret anything. Yeah, I'm it with was you, what man. it was. It all made me what I am today. A successful oh. realtor. Look at you all, Pollyanna over there. Pollyanna. <laughs> uh. 
So as I'm talking with you guys and hanging out with Paul, I'm dialing and I'm video editing. The number you dialed is not a working number. Please check the number and dial again. El número que marcó no está en servicio. Verifíquelo y márquelo de nuevo. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, baby, give me one. Give me one. Papa needs a new pair of shoes. Papa needs a new pair of shoes. Where's the damn dog? Wow, oh, wow, is. wow, 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 wow. That's Dude, the stuff uh, Papa likes. What? <laughs> That's the stuff Papa likes. It's the stuff Papa likes, Papa likes. Uh, dude, I took Rupert down to this appointment with my clients today, yeah. and he's such a funny dog, man. Like, uh, we were running around, and kind of got there a couple of minutes early, like I always do, to kind of drive the neighborhood, look at some comps, you know, get the feel of the area that day, so on and so forth. <laughs> and Rupert gets out, he's doing his whimpering and his moaning, like, oh, well, I want to go look around. And so we get out, and... Uh, Starts sniffing around the the neighbor's yards, and then all of a sudden uh, decides to take a shit right on one of the neighbor's yards. Oh. And I'm like, "Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude!" And so thank God I had a. I had a uh, yes, hello. Can you hear me? Took a shit on the neighbor's lawn. Oh, yeah. So I cleaned it up and then it threw it away. It's horrible. Yes. Hi, this is Paul Marmerstein. I'm a local realtor with Capri Realty. Hello. I'm just calling around the neighborhood. I'm sorry. Hung it's up. Like, hey, my name is Greg McDaniel. I'm not sure if this uh, uh, is kind of a, a parent, you know, this is appropriate for you, but uh, the property at 5107 Foothill Boulevard. Are you the owner of that home by chance? Do you ask me for sale? Well, I'm asking if you own the property. I'm I'm I'm, I'm just a real estate agent. And I I make calls like this live from my office for training, and it looks no, like it just came off the market. That, that's not my property. It's not okay, your it's property. I rent. Oh, it's okay. I rent. So you rent that property. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay. I will correct my records then. Thank you much. Take care now. Bye bye. I don't know, Paul. Should I believe him? Well, Greg, it sounded like he wanted to buy something. He goes, Do you have something for sale? That's the first he thing didn't. he said. Yeah. He should have sold him that. He says, He's a renter. He goes, Well, if you, I assume, like all renters, you buy, you want to own something someday, correct? Well, I can help you get there. I have a lender you should be talking to. Man, I just got schooled. By Paul Black. Dude, you, know. you just kicked me right in the nuts. But hey, if I'm I, not, learned, I'm not, I learned from you, Greg. Well, you should kick me in the huevos if I'm not doing my damn job the right way. And I did leave that opportunity there. Dude, guess who's coming on? We got Joe. What's up, Joe? What's Joe. going on? Doing live calls, baby. The world meet Joe. Joe. Joe meet the world. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I just Greg, got done. Call that guy back. Huh? Call that guy I just back. Got done oh. I thought you were gonna go hit the hit the links up for a little bit. All right, let's resume this. Paul already crushed call, it out of the park. Him, call him back, Greg. And pick. <laughs> Did he get him back? I don't want to call him back. But you can call him back and say, I'm so sorry. I apologize for getting off the line. I, I know I, I, I just realized you were asking me if I had property for sale. I would love to help you. Uh, when I are you, can't when go are you back. thinking about buying? I know I can't go back because I don't know what his address or his phone number was because I took him off the list. Oh, it's a I really screwed up. I screwed up. See, guys, not everybody gets it right. Um, we have a request, guys. Look who's joining us. Do we recognize anybody here? Yes. Oh wow! 
Uh, the user used that uh, I have a buyer script um, to find out market deals for buyers. Yes. If they are done correctly and you actually have a buyer. So Joe's go around table, Joe to Paul. Uh, Joe, would you call into a neighborhood if you did and say you had a buyer, if you did not have a buyer? I would not. What would you say instead? Uh, I would just speak as to how the market has been and uh, seeing if they're interested in selling and, or if they're interested in buying uh, rental properties or anything. Okay. Good questions. Paul, would you, what would you say? If I didn't have a buyer in that neighbor, mm -hmm. uh, I just say I'm, I'm a local realtor. If you're calling around the neighborhood, uh, just checking to see if you're thinking about selling your house in the near future. Okay. Um, you know, if you are going to call into a neighborhood with a buyer, hello. Uh, one of the things that I found to be extremely helpful is that on the call, um, I was a, hey, you know, hey, Joe, my name is Greg McDaniel with EXP Realty. Hey, I'm calling around today because I have my client, Paul uh, Marmerstein, and his beautiful girlfriend, um, and they are coming out of Big Bear, and they have a house up there in the lake, and they're kind of looking to make a move here in the, into St. Ramon, Alamo, Danville, Walnut Creek area. You guys have ever thought about selling? I would hyper, I'd be hypersensitive about information that the client gave me permission to tell the world, like, they, who they are, where they're coming from, if they can use names or not, and then uh, make it so it's just not a cold call, but there's actually some context to it. Hello. Hello, Gordon. Hello. Yeah, as long as you provide value to who you're calling, then they usually don't get too angry. Exactly. Exactly. Well, excuse you, dog face. Uh, yes, hello. This is Paul Marmerstein with Capri Realty, a local realtor. I'm just calling around the neighborhood right now to see if um, if you might be interested in selling your house in the near future, if you're thinking about it at all. Okay, are you full-time here then? Oh, great. Um, how long have you been in the neighborhood? Oh, wow, perfect. Um, have you heard any, any of the neighbors might be thinking about making a move soon? Joe, are you calling right now? I am trying to figure out who I'm going to call right now. Okay. I'm call a just pended area. Yeah. That'd be good. <sighs> Getting my data. Dude, I'm going back and I'm listening to a lot of my old uh, midday calls, beers and calls, all those. And I'll tell you one yeah, thing. Well, man. It's, it's, on and off. What's it's amazing how much a good audio and good visual. Is, um, the interest rates going up. I hear so that you. slowed down the market. And then when the storm came, everything, even the deals that were already in, in motion, stopped. Because... You think about it. There's there was no way to set to even show a house. Hey, good afternoon. The, the um, snow was, yeah, yeah hi. It was a complete disaster. So, yeah, things pretty much had to stop. As a matter of fact, business altogether stopped. And there was a couple of uh, businesses here in the Lake Arrowhead Village just in that couple of month period where we had all that snow. They couldn't survive, and then we had two markets that got shut down too. So it was it was pretty bad. But yeah, but with uh, the good. Good news. I'm sorry, what were you going to say? I've been on the mountain uh, about five years. And uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I actually got my house as a second home. But then when I, real I realized after when I was leaving the city and I'd come up, you know, during the week to stay at my house, it just all the stress from the city would just leave. And I thought, OK, I just got to look for any excuse to not <laughs> have to leave the mountain. So I started working up here. So, so that I wouldn't have to leave. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so what happened there? I wasn't listening. Sorry, I was getting shot down on another line. Is Paul listening to us, Joe? 
Oh, I think he's in the zone. Okay, dope. Yeah. So I'm going to try to mute myself if you guys are on the line. Yeah, so It doesn't sound like absolute bad oh, And, and I, I did want to let you know that the good news is with the weather warming up now, um, buyers are walking through the door every day now. So they're, they're just – so it, they're, they've gotten used to the interest rates. The snow has gone. <laughs> so now people are starting to – it's just starting to market can't back up. believe so snow is actually gone out of the mountains. But uh, it's more of a normal market. Yeah. You know, that might explain why it's been so chilly down here. Maybe a lot of that. Hey, Hello. Brian. Hello. Hey, oh, this is Joe. Oh, yeah, How yeah, are yeah. you today? Good. Okay. So Let me make sure I have the right there, address. Uh, are you, there right are next you the one on the hilltop? We just went under contract. And, uh, I was curious okay. if you or anyone you may know in the neighborhood have thought about selling here in the near future. Out there. Oh, that's awesome! Congratulations. Okay. Yeah, I'll send you my information. And uh, what's what's the physical cool. address? I'll take a quick look at it. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, thank you for two. taking the call, and I hope you have a great day. Oak Drive, Arrow Bear Lake. I love Arrow Bear. Oh, hey, good afternoon. Um, my name is Greg McDaniel. Um, not sure if this applies to you or not, but I'm looking for the owner of Eight Hundred Seven Devonwood out here in our rooms. Is that you, by any chance? Mm -hmm. uh, the property on uh, Devonwood in Hercules? Yeah. Y is that your property? Mm -hmm. Hi, Chris. No. Okay. Hi, this is Joe. I'm a local real I apologize. Have a blessed day, okay? Bye-bye. Good. Say, the reason for the call is a uh, place there on 27th Avenue just went under okay. contract. Yeah. Super sounds, sounds cool. I was just curious cool. if uh, you or anyone you may know in the neighborhood um, thought about selling here in the neighborhood. Well, that's future. great. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'd love to be a resource for you. So, my name is Paul Marmor. Right, thank you. You have a great day. And I'm over here. At, um, yeah, my office is over in the Lake Arrowhead Village. It's in the same building as the Bank of America building, Capri Realty. And I'll, um, I'll text you my information. And uh, what's the best email for you? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Right. Right. So awesome. So I just posted a link for anybody who is out there. Oh, um, and if you guys want to come and join us and throw your hat in the ring and do some dials with us, okay, Paul what's the best will be number nice. Three? We'll make sure we put the chain on him, make sure he doesn't bite anyone's yeah. head off. And Joe will sit there like a sniper okay, and surgically give you intel so that you can get more deals. So if you guys want to join in, this is and the we team got the of cowbell. assassins. Ooh, and he's got more cowbell. One, got more three, cowbell. Seven. Okay. So I, yeah, I'm a fellow musician too. Uh, what what bands were you in that I might know of? So I'm trying to mark down all the different minute by minute points where we have good conversations. Let's send it over to YouTube. Uh, Trinity Hills. I'll pick up. <laughs> okay. Hello. Please leave your message for eight one eight. That so I was a percussionist growing so up. What Alpha uh, brain, like, Alpha I, brain will do for you, man. I mean, I, editing I, I, videos I for YouTube, writer, making calls with you guys, and having and having cold call uh, conversations. I've got a couple platinum records in songwriting. <laughs> All with uh, one arm. These days, uh, I play guitar. Like, 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 but I'm not like a guitar player that does like yeah. I I, I, I mostly play guitar like a drummer <laughs> to to accompany myself. Uh, but I'm I'm used. I'm usually used to having a band around me, you know, and I, 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 I think the last time I toured was 2006 okay. to 2007, and uh, I, I went all around the world and stuff. But yeah, it's nice to meet a fellow musician. <laughs> you know? yeah. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Hello. Smash mouse. Yeah. Of course, now they hang right when they pick up. I say, I say, schmicky schmow. Yeah. Yeah. Good lord. Mm-hmm. Fucking dumb rules. <sighs> Let's. We're, we're talking music. <laughs> yeah. Let's get that over here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get the lead. Oh, I keep saying this, dude. I have got to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll text you all my information. And my, my stage name is Paul Mars Black. You can hey, Michael, that. how are you? My, my name is real estate name is I am, uh, I'm calling around. I'm not sure if there's things so. to you or not, but I'm looking for the owner of 276 Ontario. Oh, Silky Street. Walker. Oh, that's so cool. Silky is that Walker. is that you by any chance? No, that was um, it was my family's home a very, very, very long time ago, but uh, <laughs> no, we don't own the home anymore. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I wonder oh, how I'm that, that, that number is. Yeah, oh, I'm trying to like move my, my goods up to. The, I mean, I've okay. To I will take now. you guys off. Right, Mr. Donaldson, how are you today? Um, this is Joe. You know, are, you guys thinking, realtor. are you guys thinking about buying or selling any other but, uh, kind of investment properties yeah. or any kind of real estate? So, yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we can do some games yeah, on the mountain together. See, I was just calling the neighborhood of house there on 27th Avenue South when under contract super quick. I was just curious if you know that's the first place I ever played about selling here in the White House when I played down there. I'm kind of a regular there because the. They've kind of taken a liking to me there, but I played. Uh, All right. Well, hey, I appreciate you taking the call. There's a, and, uh, hope there's you have a little a great local hangout. It's called the Seahorse Lounge. Thank you. Um, bye bye. It's right next, to, right next to Mozambique. I think there's someone trying to come in right now. In a, where a place where it's called Pearl oh. Street General Store, and in the back it's called. Uh, oh right. The sea, Seahorse Lounge, but um, my band oh. plays there sometimes. Get that camera up. We'll bring another person, another phone. folk in. All right. And, uh, Joe, how are the leads going Tommy for you? Bahamas. I played all the time in a place called the ah, 32 yeah. Contacts They've, today. They had me all over that town. That's good. Hey, Corey. 30... Nice. Hey, this is Joe. I'm a local realtor. How are you today? Cool. So a house there on 27th Avenue South just went under contract super quick. Uh, I was just curious oh, wow. if uh, you or anyone you may know in the neighborhood have thought about selling here in the near future. All right, perfect. Well, hey, I appreciate you taking the call, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, me too. I was. Awesome. Hello. Hi, you (laughs) Drew Baldwin's cell phone. I can't come to the phone. We got to meet up. Thank you, Drew. Bye, Drew. Hi, Kaylee. Okay. Hi, this is Joe. I'm a local realtor. How are you today? Nice talking to you too. I'll send, I'll text you my information right now, and I'll I'll send you. Yeah, let's say I was just calling uh, the neighborhood. I'll 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 Thanks, bye. Greg, I'm just hitting them right and left today. I know, dude. You're that, that that was fucking killer. Tell us all about that. Oh, fellow musician for one thing. So that was that. You know, he said, "Uh, you know, I'm." He goes, "I, you know, we might be selling down the line, but let's keep in touch." He goes, "Here's my PO box. Send me a send me your card." And uh, and and then and then I said, you know, and then and then it turns out that on the lead, the address is not right. I verified it, which is a good thing I did because it's like this hilltop, whatever it is, it's a whole different address. But he's, but he is here on the mountain, so I got his, I got his real address. So I got to look that up, and uh, then I, uh, and then, then I got him to give my, then I, then he, hey. oh, he, oh, he gave me his email, which is ultraguitarforever.com. and as soon as he said guitar, in his email, oh, hi. I, knew, I knew I was in. the uh for the misunderstanding hope you have a great day 
Bye-bye. We have fresh meat, ladies and gentlemen. Who's joined us for the calls? Barton. What up, player? What's up, man? Ready to go Where are you going? Fun? Huh? Where's Barton from? I'm from Glendale, oh, California. Yourself. Oh, nice. Where? That's Glendale, where California. From. What part of Glendale? Uh, well, I'm on the. I live on the northern part, uh, near Grand. Okay. Hello. I, I have a. I have a place over on Thompson and Western, over by the Equestrian Center. Oh, nice, nice. That's a great area. Yeah, I love that area. Are you're in uh, Lake Arrowhead now. Yeah, I have a. My house is in Lake Arrowhead. And uh, but I still kept my apartment down there. I used to own a house in that neighborhood, but then when I got through a divorce, I had to sell it. But then I raised oh, my okay. son. So my son had a bunch of friends there, so we um, kept it. I just got a apartment and we kept that. Yeah. But, uh, well, if you're yeah. ever in the area, I'd love to go out and get some coffee together. Sweet. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm there so every week. I uh, I come down there once a week to uh, play San Antonio Winery, and I stay at the apartment. So yeah, let's get together. I'll, here, I'll, I'll put it. I'll put my e my phone number in the chat. Okay, cool. All right, let's see what you got, brother. Let's do some dials. Yeah. Um, so tell us, tell the world a little bit about you. You're from Glendale, who are you with? Um, you know all the pertinent good stuff. Have you been cold calling for a while? Door knocking, social media, videos, kind of a sphere of influence. What what what's your jam for lead generation right now? What's what's working well? Hi, for Travis. You? Um, yeah, actually, the um, I think I've been doing cold calling ever since I started as an agent. Uh, I think it's going to be a year now that I've been do, making some calls, and you know, as you guys know, it's a process, and you you start to get better as you go and as you make more dials, and so. You know, in the beginning, I didn't get, you know, that good of results. And then once I uh -huh. started to keep doing it and, you know, the com the compounding that happens, um, you start to get more leads. And then um, I built a newsletter with 250 people uh, and they're all homeowners in the Glendale area. So um, I do that probably twice a month. I send one out and then I, I do have an Instagram and a social media page, uh, but I am trying to grow that one out, too. So. Uh, yeah, nice. I still make dials almost every day. I love it. And who are you going to be calling today for us? Uh, circle prospecting, um, uh, that we have a buyer and I actually do have several buyers. Um, as, as we all know, the market's pretty tough right now and we, I can't find my buyers anything. So I'm just going to be proactive and reaching out to homes in the area that they like. Okay, you want to run a script with anybody on uh, any of the three of us, or you just want to kind of take the bull by the horns and rock and roll? Uh, usually, I try keeping it simple, like, hey, uh, this is Barton. Uh, I usually say their name first, um, and I try to identify who the prospect is, and okay. then I just go right in. I say, hey, my name is Barton. I'm a real estate agent here in Glendale. Uh, I, I, just, I was calling because we have a family that really wants to live in your area. Have you ever considered making a move? That's what I say. Okay, let's 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 see you rock and roll. It's a good, clean, traditional script. It's been tried and true for a yeah. long time. And then if they say no, I say, okay. Well, is there an agent that you would use here in Glendale if you did make a move? And then I try to get their email that way, and I just put them on my database. Cool. Let's keep. Let's crush it. Let's let's get some people in the database today. You ready to go live fire? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna take one more minute to get to to get started, and then I'm gonna start. Okay. Well, um, is Varton is uh, is Varta or Vartin? Vartan. Vartan. Okay. Yes. I'm, just so you know, I'm gonna fuck that up. I just wanted to make. Sure <laughs> no, it's really totally clear. fine. Okay, I always do that. All right, let's do some dials. Yeah, I'll resume and wait for some. Wait till you're ready, ready to rock and roll. Joe and Paul are dialing as well. All right, it's time to find. Hi, Sandra. There we go. Hi, is this Sandra?
Bartan, you know, it's a good thing that you joined today, too. That's awesome, man. That's yeah, some, no, I've been serious courage. content for quite some time now, and I'm really glad that I got Hi, a Suzanne. Oh, cool, man. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Hi, this That's is Joe. Awesome. I'm a local realtor. How are you today? Good. Say the reason for the call is a house there on 27th Avenue South just went under contract. And unfortunately, only one buyer could get the home. I was just curious if uh, you or anyone you may know in the neighborhood have thought about selling here in the near future. Shit, I forgot I was dialing still. <laughs> oh, they're going high. You're going over asking and everything. It's been crazy. Oh, man, my Where... sister's taking forever. All right. Sounds good. Where would you plan on moving if you did so? Thank you for calling. Goodbye. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, I appreciate you uh, taking the call. And if anything ever comes up that you need some help with, please feel free to reach out. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye-bye. I need to call between five and six more often. Getting some good hits, huh? Yeah, I dropped down to a double line. Really? Yeah. You I've been having really good luck today. I feel like I've hardly dialed at all, and I've talked to four different prospects. Well, Paul, you've just crushed it today. I mean, it's like you're drinking the concentrated juice. Yeah, we better Legion. give Paul yeah. some call, wow. call. I hope it stays like that. <laughs> yeah, hey, I was hoping you to see definitely need to I think a lot... <laughs> I know I need the cowbell. I I think I think last time I dialed, uh, yeah, I didn't Gary get Nelson anything for like the whole day. Law of averages. First time, long time listener, first time caller, ladies and gentlemen. Barton's in gate number one, ramping up for a large success today on his cold calls. Barton, how are you feeling over there? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting connected right now to uh, somebody. Come on, buddy. Let's do it. Today is what we call Success Monday. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, I am being super lazy today. I am on dinner duty for my girlfriend because she's having a late night. And guess what I'm making tonight, people? Hmm. Pizza. That's delivered. Oh. And that I'm going to go throw just... some burgers on the Blackstone here pretty quick. Nah, that, that idea does not suck. Got four more dials. Oh, man. Yeah, four more. So let's flip this over. To this one. Yeah, I've been having so much fun with just messing around with my screens. So end scene. Probably do this. Hey, good afternoon. Is this Audis? No. Uh, do you do you maybe live on Kirkham Drive? Yeah. No. All right. Oh, got it. Okay. Uh, well, my name is Vartan. I'm a real estate agent here in Glendale. Hi, Roxy. Um, did you have any real estate needs? Hi, this is Joe. I'm a local realtor. How are you today? No, okay. Well, thanks a lot. Bye. Whoa, geez. I'm terribly sorry for calling you so late then. <laughs> so, Barton, how'd the call go? 
Oh, geez, uh, that's way I too spoke early. To the wrong number. I I tried to you know uh, see if I could help them out, but um, I guess it, it didn't really work out. But it was all right. Okay, I want you to put a uh, little bit more excitement those, uh, in, in your voice when you're doing the calls. Because think about this. So when Paul, you know, he's an international, okay, well, you know, uh, musician um, with, with a, like a um, lot of big, 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 big names. Sold fairly quickly. Paul plays um, a role when he's on stage. Like you're playing a role when you're doing calls, right? Fifty-five percent of your communication is done through like physically being able to see your 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 body, your body language, the environment, all that stuff. But okay. you're missing out on over fifty percent, which means the conversation that you're having they have to understand you're coming through and you're excited to do this with them all right i can do it gary mcguire show me the money please tell me you know what that oh, reference geez. is right yeah mm -hmm. oh thank baby jesus um but you, you've got to be jerry mcguire yeah. right? show me the money come on show me the money who's coming with me who's coming with okay me? yeah i will get it ready to sell Perfect. All right. Uh, uh, what? Do you have an agent that you'd be working with? Aaron Wittenstein. Hello, Baldy. Hi, Aaron. I t I invited him to come up here, but he doesn't want to come up and hang out with us. Barton, do you know who um you know Aaron Wittenstein is? Uh, okay. No. Oh my gosh! All right, well, you gotta I would go. Love to, I would love to get a to get a look. You at gotta the go to Facebook and, and go uh, to the uh, lead to gen scripts and objections page and group and make it as like seventy thousand people there or something stupid. Aaron, the one is the one that runs it and owns it. Greg uh, McDaniel, okay. real estate in Diablo, California. Okay, yeah, perfect. I just cold called a $5 million home, guys. And that's a conservative fucking number. I'm with Real Broker. Uh, this isn't my office number. Do you have a pen oh, no, this house. that you could just write my number down? The person you're trying to reach isn't available right now. But you can leave a message. <laughs> or is, or is, this number, is this number your cell phone? The 50 or... Okay. Shit, that's right. I'm going to try that okay. new script. So, Barton, how'd you find uh, how'd you find all these crazy cold calls you've Hello? been watching for a while? Yeah, hey, Wesley, this is Vartan. Um, I'm <laughs> That's Glendale. what I hear. I feel it already, and I'm only yeah. 39. Hey, Christina, <laughs> my name is Greg <laughs> McTowney. Yeah, really hi, can you hear me? Area. And I was just Hello? curious, have you guys ever oh, considered geez. selling before? <laughs> uh, I I was calling about the one on Edgewick Road, 3020 right. Edgewick Road. 218-688. Oh, I understand. Okay. Uh, well, is there an agent that you guys would work with if you yep. ever did make a move? Uh, 0802. Oh, it's a historical home. Wow. All I'm right. sure it's a, it's a great home and it's in a great area. Uh, well, thank you again, and I really hope you have a great day. Bye. Okay. Yep. Oh, wow. Sorry, Greg, were you asking me a question? Yeah. I hear ya. Perfect. Sounds good. <laughs> I agree with you there. All right. I look forward to hearing from you. And uh, if you need any help with anything, I have a lot of resources and uh, to get you help, get you helped, uh, get ready to sell too. So,
Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> yep, I <laughs> you'll have to let me know. <laughs> All right. I appreciate it. All right. You have a great one, Roxy. All right. <laughs> Good night. Bye bye. Well, that was a good one. Hello? <laughs> Got to add her to my CRM. Give her a call back in two weeks. This musician I just talked to, I mean, he gave me his email and it said uh, Ultra Guitar Forever at gmail.com and so I knew we had a <laughs> we had a connection all we had to do was talk about music and it was a dumb thing and it sounds like he's been a lot of big bands like the fifth dimension I think he goes way back his stage what, name what was kind of music do they play fifth dimension is like Motown I think if the, really yeah, yeah. So, so is this guy I think he sounds like a studio musician. He, he, he said his stage name is Silky Walker, so I'm going to look him up right now. So his, his real name is Michael Fletcher, but he goes by Silk. I think it's I'm going to look up Silky Walker. Oh, hi. Good afternoon. Um, I'm looking for the owner of Sanford uh, Avenue here in San Pablo. Is that you? Hello? Yes, uh, the property at... Uh, one two five zero Sanford Avenue. Do you own that? Okay, we're breaking up. Let me try you again. Hold on. Let's. Hold, uh, I'm gonna do. Oops. Fuck. I lost them. Fuck. See. Ya. Oh well. <laughs> Well, boys, it is four o'clock, which means uh, it, it's time for a beer. So, you guys keep going. I'm gonna get a beer. What? What? Mm. Hey, Barton, what's your secret? Okay, back to dialing. Dude, I found a new beer that I love. It's Sierra Nevada uh, Atomic Torpedo Imperial IPA 9.2. Hey guys, what do you guys think about? Oh. It's a kick ass in a can. What do you guys think about my uh, creative marketing? I like it. Tell me what, 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 about what? Movie. <laughs> Okay, that's fucking funny. <laughs> you think this will get any calls? Maybe. What's on the back? Maybe. I like the QR code. What does the QR lead to? Uh, hey, Martin, what, what company are you with? A Property Masters Realty. Property Masters Realty. In Where Glendale? are you guys based out of? Yeah. Where are you guys based out of? In Locker Glendale. Center. Oh, oh, that's right. So, so Cal, that's right. Yeah, Glendale, Locker Center area. Glendale. I want to get a place in Locker Center. Yeah, hey, I'll find you a house. Okay. Uh, on 
bless the bells. All right, fifth dimension. Let's see what you sound like. The greatest hits, full album. Uh, it only has it's only three minutes long. How's that? The greatest hits. How do you sound? Yeah, fifth dimension's famous. He's up. I'm pretty good. We can't hear it. Put him on speaker. What song are you listening to? I think I got I have a good little sound. Yes, but what's what are you listening to? What's oh, I just typed in uh, Fifth Dimension and came up uh, on a Google search. Then had a pop down, drop down for me where there's three different. But we can't hear what we can't hear what you're hearing. No, you cannot. What song is oh, it? But here, this is my link. Oh my god, computer. So everyone who's listening, you can go into both YouTube and my personal Facebook, and you guys can take a look at the link I just sent, so that everybody can see the link I'm looking at. Not sure. Or it could be. Dimension. Hello. All right. Let's. All right, fellers. I'm gonna go grill some burgers on the Blackstone. How do you like the Blackstone? Seriously, it's awesome. Really? Like you honestly yeah, like even it? Even just buy the travel one. It's like yeah, my dream is to bucks. get one. What's a Blackstone? A uh, flat yeah. top grill. Oh. It's a griddle. Yeah, yeah the good ones are super nice. I got like Gen One. It's Luke. kind of janky, but it keeps working. So hey, Lucas. I'm good. How are you? Hi. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Yeah. Are you going to be there for what? How long are you, later are you there till? Um, oh, perfect. Yeah, I'm at the office right now. Can I swing oh, by on my way home? Joe did literally just bail. That's hilarious. Um, I'm thinking around six or six thirty, like somewhere around that time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I know you're gonna have clients. Um, uh, all right. I'll I'll text you when I'm on my way over. Okay. All right. Bye. Yeah. Some Chinese yeah. <laughs> guys making mixing up some Chinese herbs for me for my cough. Oh, very cool. So a little bit of dog snout and some cattail. Yeah, except those aren't really herbs. Those are meat. <laughs> Dude, Joe just posted that he did 337 dials today. One hot lead and like 30 plus uh, conversations. That is an effective day. Wow. Fuck, dude, I just looked up. We've That's been running this thing for how, an hour and 18 minutes. How many calls did he make? He... 337. Oh, this guy's pretty good. You know, I've, I've hardly made any calls today because it seems like every call, every other call I make is a lead. And then I had to, I had to race out to a listing appointment. And then that listing appointment turned into two listing appointments because the guy next door to me wanted to talk to me too. So I was up there for hours, and then I came back here, and then the second call I got on was a it's just been one of those days. But... Hey, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Greg McDaniel. Um, I'm really not sure if this actually applies to you or not, but I'm looking for the owner of the property on, on uh, Sundale Drive here in Fremont. Um, did you ever own a? Uh, yeah. You're... You're the right person. Oh, good. You wouldn't believe this. You're actually one of the first people I've talked to all stinking day that actually was the right person. So, um, hey, I, I saw that it, uh, it it sold back in 2001. Is that when you guys purchased it, or did you guys actually sell that home? Hello. 
Well, I'm, I'm a real estate agent and I I'm calling so. into the neighborhoods and I do them live for training in my office. And it, my my records are, are showing that it Paul came Marmestein off the market the uh, summer of last realtor. year. And just so I just kind of wondering if you sold it or you still have it. Or, um, you know, all that stuff. To see if you or anybody you know might be thinking about selling in the near future. I'm definitely not looking for a selling agent. I already have a selling agent. Okay, but good. I am looking for a buyer. So just to be very clear, uh, yeah. we bought this as a flip. Okay, good. I, so you've been in the mountains for a while. We purchased yeah. it as a flip property. Uh, you know, by the time it was uh, redone, it was done with permits. It's not a three two, not a three one, and it was done in a pretty you know, nice way. Every single thing was brand new, et cetera, et cetera. We put it on the market. We did not get the price that we wanted. So we took it off the market mm -hmm. and currently it's rented to a tenant yeah. until the end of December. Okay. Uh, the tenant is on yeah, a month yeah. to month. Who wouldn't lease. want to be up here? <laughs> it's a great um, place to live. It is technically um, not but, on the MLS, but yeah, it is well, still I live in, I live actually, my house is in uh, uh, the price Lake is Arrowhead. Uh, but I do, I work a lot um, in, in and that's I also have a little, a little cabin uh, here at here. the moment. But I'm, I'm so based just in, in case you have buyers that are looking, which I don't know, today's day and age. But uh, so if you've got a buyer who's over here in the we're in the yeah, my office, I can write a negative message. Um, yeah. a showing, okay, you know what you know, the Bank of America does? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, great. Month to month. Yeah, it's come in and have some coffee with We do sometime. have it on a couple of agencies. Uh, what's your name? Uh, internal list. Mm -hmm. because I didn't want to Sheila, my name's Paul Marmestein. No. Sheila, okay. This, but my I name is Paul Marmestein, and this is my cell phone number. Okay, so you're saying that the list price is a million four, right? Sheila? Okay, the million three ninety nine. No. Oh, I was actually okay. Calling so it looks like back in well, how the, is, right? the list price back in twenty two was bedroom. a million two twenty nine. Uh, um, you know, it depends on the area. Are you talking about in Running Springs or Lake Arrowhead? You per, oh, okay. Okay, so a million two twenty nine. That's your um, purchase in well, last can, year. No, no, no. My purchase. My purchase. They vary depending on the condition and, and the size. Do you know about how many square feet you would want? Twelve twenty nine was my market. Down yeah, hey, is this time. Michael? Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Oh, I was calling about a All right. over on uh, it's it's on the market. You off and after 14 days the market oh, for a million okay. well, two nine back in December of last year. Okay, now I got my timeline. What I can oh, do, uh, All right, thank you so much. No, your your home's almost what? Pretty much oh, one really? Three, yeah, five, somehow five, it's... Four bedroom, you know, four bath. Yeah, five, somehow five, your This is what I can do for you, Sheila, sure. and I really don't mind. I know you're not uh, looking to three, sell three, right now, six, but, four, but I'll just do this place. So I'll do a pretty terrible analysis. Know, I'll, look I'll, I'll look at some of the homes that have sold recently around you in the area. Hey, no worries. I'll definitely make a note of that. You know what? I think it's probably a wise move. I am, as we're talking here, I'm pulling up comps in surrounding neighborhoods, you know, so but so I can get you. A, I can get you a ballpark if that's what you're looking for. Um, what's your best? What's your best email? I can send over a, an analysis for you. That are uh, bigger, but uh, you know, uh, around the same okay. ballpark. W Y M E R. This house is one of the nicest ones there, and it's done really well on the inside, and it shows really well. So I gotta know why I'm asking that price, okay. and I'm and not this gonna is do your anything. You shouldn't. If you it's love your house, house, it's your house. You 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 sell it when you're darn ready, right? Ah, you're the you're the bank. Okay. You, gotcha. You get okay. On that, number? <laughs> that makes a lot more yeah. sense. Um, are you no. looking for more investment oh. properties? Am I looking for what? Uh, more investment properties? No, not at the moment. Not, not at the moment. Is that that now or just not ever? Yeah. At the moment, okay. Well, do you mind if I stay in touch with you? That offend you, and if I come up with a good deal somewhere out no, there? Oh, absolutely. I've sold many houses there. Come up with something, just text me. That's the best yeah. way to get in touch. If you come up with something, absolutely. If something's like a, a real good deal, then yes. And then if you have a buyer for this one, absolutely get in touch. But you know my parameters. Uh, yeah, yeah, not, million you know, four. Nothing less than one point four, and, sure. and don't do worry about bothering me. You can call me anytime, uh, and it won't be any bother at all. <laughs> okay. 
Um, you know what? Uh, so we'll, not a problem at all. Okay, I'm gonna uh, do that for you. I'll put an analysis together. It, just out of curiosity, if you were to sell, what would, and if somebody just had came with a bag of cash and said, "I want to buy your house for," what would that number look like? What would you want it to get for it? Eight fifty. All right, and if and if that number was doable, if I could get you that number, is that you you think you want to sell and and maybe or you'd have to think about it, huh? I mean, Kingsbridge or the other one. How big is your, how big is your, how big is your lot, the land? Let's see what's on Caravan tomorrow. All right, boys. Uh, I think I'm going to hang up my shoes on that one. You guys didn't hear it because I did, Paul was taking a call. But I just talked to this gal. Her name is Hannah. Uh, she's an investor. Okay. She's looking for projects. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't matter the size. Hey, if it's a deal. It's yeah, a deal. So nice to talk to you. I'm very curious now. So he yeah, is, really she is very active out there. And so I just picked up a and, deal, uh, uh, an investment yeah, buyer I'm, who doesn't I've care about the size of the deal because the deal is a deal, a deal in her verbiage. Now, so at, after our like one know, hour and 26 minutes and change of home. So, but this is my cell phone number. Okay. And I'll text you my. Okay, great. So there's I'll, Hannah. I'll send you a little uh, ad yeah, folder. Okay, great. Done. Hey, have a great, have a beautiful day. And Talk to you soon. Name. Yeah. There's another one, Greg. I hate you, Paul. No, I'm kidding. Great work. Uh, I still got nothing here, so. Yeah, but how long have you been dialing for? Uh, three hours. Oh, well, then there's that. Well, there's some days, man, you just don't get anything. Yeah. And there's no, some days you get a shit ton, right? Yeah, no, I know. So just keep uh, Was that mind. an expired you were talking to? Yes. Um, what, 126. Um, I had, uh, I talked to Hannah, and yes, it was an expired. I'll just tell exactly what it was. Is it expired uh, that came off the market after 14 days uh, back uh, December 15th of last year? So they're on the market for 89 days. Uh, they had on at a million 248, did not sell. That's what the neighborhood looks like now it's comping out at. Um, she is taking nothing less than a, uh, than a million four, which is almost two to three hundred thousand dollars over any comp in the area. Mm -hmm. so that's okay i can't help you on this one i mean yeah i don't know what to tell you but uh you know what? she wants to buy other stuff so i'm very curious to see how her mind works when selecting properties and projects i love watching people do that um okay let's do do you guys want to do a couple more calls we can i can listen in uh because i'm gonna do some video edits but we can do this on air or off air what would you gentlemen prefer i'm i'm anyway. up for anything you want greg me too it's your show oh jesus you will you guys are a, you know, very esteemed guests so let's just keep got, cranking i'll just, just keep another, listening i just got another person that wants to value on their home and they're thinking about selling it okay so walk us through a little bit of why that is why, why do you think today has been such a profitable day for you in lead generation you know i don't know i just think it's just a numbers game and it just happened that this is a good day uh, but another thing is okay my very first call of the day was a really good lead of a really good conversation and they, they definitely want to sell their house and they want to meet up with me um 
what happened with that first phone call is I was caught off guard and I noticed a lot of people have been kind of disregarding the like, you know, the, you know, they have all these different pitches, you know, for the listing pitch, the uh, just sold pitch, this, you know, where you, you know, or, you know, you just say, Hey, we just sold a house in your neighborhood, went for 50,000 over. We had multiple buyers, blah, blah, blah. I've noticed that a lot of times when I start off with all that, before I can even get through, we have a home, we have multiple buyers, we have, you know, explaining why I'm calling. They're hanging up on me before I can even get to like, are you thinking about selling? Right? It's the same with me. Yeah. So uh, some of these people, I think Larry and, and all those guys, they're like, just all they do is just go and say, hey, I'm a local realtor, just thinking, just checking to see if you might be thinking about making a move in the near future. That's simple. And I got caught off and I haven't tried it, but I got caught off guard this day because I today because I didn't think I didn't expect anybody to pick up the phone and I didn't know what to say. I didn't know where what area I was even calling. So I just go, hey, I was just calling to see if you're thinking about selling your house. All of a sudden I was in probably one of the best conversations I've had ever. And the, my whole Hello? pitch was, are you thinking about selling? That was it. And then my second one, I just tried the same thing. I eliminated everything else. And I just said, hey, I'm a local realtor calling around the neighborhood. Curious if you're thinking about selling in the near future. Same thing. Got another list. And, and that one turned into a listing appointment. The guy wanted me to meet him in an hour. So then all of a sudden I had to prepare for a listing appointment. And then when I went up on that listing appointment, the guy next to me was say, saw me look, checking out the place and taking pictures and everything. He goes, hey, are, are you listing that place? Blah, blah, blah. He, he owned the place right next door. And then he wanted me. He was interested in buying that place. But he also wants me to find him a place, a duplex up in Big Bear. So I ended up with a buyer Sweet. and then I came back here and I got on the phone and I got two, two more. So that's, there's a five prospects today and I've hardly made any phone calls really. But I think if you're asking me for the key, I don't know. I think it was a lot of it might've been luck, but some of it, I think is I eliminated all that, that crap that you say before, are you thinking about selling and just going right into, it, are you thinking about selling? Yeah. I mean, I but just, okay. I do believe that is very accurate. Um, I think people respect that simplicity move. It's like, look, I'm not going to waste your time. Are you thinking about buying or selling any real estate this year? Yeah. Yes, no. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Click. Hey, good afternoon. Yeah. Is this Carolyn? If it's, no, if it's a no, then you haven't wasted any time. You can go on to the next call. No, I was actually trying to reach a neighbor over on uh, Emerald Isle Drive. Does that ring any bells? Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry about that. Thanks. Okay, so walk us through what just took place. Am I talking to my fucking self here? Barton, Barton did you hear him? Barton, yes. Oh. He, All right, Barton, so, so walk me through that. What did uh, he say? Just, just the wrong number. Um, yeah, I, I first went with the name and she didn't it was it wasn't her and then i brought up the address and she s still said it wasn't her and uh i know i could have probably pushed a little bit more and said hey like do you live in the glendale area and you know are you looking to buy or sell but uh i kind of just said thank you and I'm, I'm sorry to bother you and i just just hung up so try something else next time you say sorry to you know sorry to bother you say you know what i want I just want to let you know i appreciate you have a blessed day. They will okay. not know what to do with you. So if you say, "Hey, sorry to bother but you," that's the, that's the you're making the assumption that you bothered them. Usually, I don't say that, but um, I guess this time I did. What I like to say, Greg, and I found this to be very helpful, is to just say, "I love you," <laughs> and just say, as what? a matter of fact, I don't just love you; I'm <laughs> in love with you. I I want you to carry my that's, baby. That's beyond creepy. <laughs> yeah, if you if Paul goes, you know what I love Especially you so much. I, 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 I want you to be the, the uh, my partner in life and carry the my, carry my children and the other individuals. My name is Steve. Fool. Oh well, I still love your soul. I, I want you. I want you to know that I'm here to represent you and your family. I'm not sure how that would go over there, but I do like your enthusiasm. Four one five five zero. Hello. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna take one of the things out of your out of your. 
uh, toolbox yeah, here. Uh, I was hoping to speak to Mr. Uh, Vartsar. Uh, no, I was actually just uh, reaching to him about go. his uh, property on uh, Inverness Drive. Um, I was just reaching out to the neighbors on Inverness Drive. Hey, Hannah, Greg McDaniel, nice to meet you. As you can see, this is where I was just calling you from. Doing some calls here. Um, oh, hey, yeah, no, I totally touch base with you in regards to investment properties. Uh, whenever you get a moment, yeah. hey, love no to have a chat. Thanks a lot. Thought you might want to put a face with a name. All right. Hey, thanks for your time. Thanks for being nice to me. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Okay, I'm going to redo that one. So, what I'm doing right now, guys, is I have my phone up here and I'm doing a video text yeah. to Hannah, the lead that I just met. Now, why'd I put the headphone oh, okay. on, the headset on? Because it's creepy as shit if I don't have one on when I do a video thing. Hey, Hannah, Greg McDaniel here. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk with me today on the phone. I really appreciate it. Uh, yes, I am real. Yes, I really am making phone calls uh, here in my home office. But uh, very interested to talk with you more in regards to investment opportunities. I know a deal is a deal uh, per our conversation. I just wanted to see if there kind of was were any parameters, commercial, residential, so on and so forth. Anyways, have a blessed night. Thanks for your time. This is Greg McDaniel. And my self number is the one that just came through, 925-915-1978. Bye-bye. It was longer than I wanted, but fuck it. Whatever. It's a video text out to someone who, just, who does not know me and is not expecting it. Let's see how that works. What do you guys think? Uh, I actually do the same thing, but I just keep it really short. Um, and I usually just send it to the good leads that I talk to, not like everybody. Um, yeah, I would agree with you on that one. Okay, so if you were to send a message, how would you have worded that differently? How would you have shot it differently? What would you have done differently? Uh, I would probably just say hi and then my name and then probably my company. So why don't you just do a role play? Same thing. It, was, it was great speaking with you. And then I would say their name just so they you know, they know that I know. And then um, so I would role maybe, maybe with mention me. one highlight of our conversation. And then I would just say, if you need anything, feel free to reach out, and I would just send it. All right, so let's do this. Role play it with me really quickly. I, we, you and I just got off the phone. Obviously, my name is Greg. I have a property that I'm not thinking of selling, but um, I would keep you in mind uh, if you brought me anything. Uh, yeah, I, I would say the same thing that you said probably. Hey, Greg, uh, this is Vartan. It was great speaking with you earlier. Um, I know you're probably not looking to sell right now, but if you do, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you kept me in mind. Uh, you could just reach out to me anytime at this number, and then I would just say my number and just end the video. Good. I like it. Simplicity. Beautiful. I should take a lesson from your playbook, oh. my friend. Cool. I just want to see how it actually goes. Okay. Paul, by the way, you know you sent me your phone number, right? In the private chat here, we sent all of us your number. I'm like, what the fuck? I have your cell phone number. Yeah, I know, but but um, oh, sorry, hold on a second. Joe didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, yeah. Barton, you didn't. Okay. Yeah, he wanted Barton wanted to get together, and so I get, sent him my email. But I figured, yeah, you have it. But he doesn't, and I don't have Barton's number to send it directly to him. So I just uh, sent it to the chat. Nice. You guys got to do a selfie and post it up on the uh, Real Estate Uncensored page and let them know, hey, look, we actually meet up in person. Yeah. So this, this lady, she's not looking to sell, but she wanted to know, oh, she's just curious about her house. And I said, well, if you were to sell, and somebody had a Hello? big bag of cash, nice. what would that look like? Hello? Well, she said, I would want 850. And she was very definite about it. I would want 850. And I go, Oh, well, you know what? I said, I don't mind, you know, trying to you know, trying to get a value of this house. If I was able to get you that price, would you want to sell? And she goes, Well, yeah. You know, so that works. I just you now I just gotta figure out if I can get that. Yeah. She said the house around. 
The house right around the corner from me doesn't have nearly what I have. It's not as big. It doesn't have the yard I have. It's not as close to the lake. It doesn't have two kitchens. It doesn't have this, blah, blah, blah. And she started telling me all the upgrades and all the benefits about her house and why hers is worth way more than the, the house that just sold for $750. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. Man. I said, I don't mind doing this and we can meet up and talk about it. And maybe I can get you that number. You know? Like it. Like, and if I can't, then you can just keep your house. Nothing lost. No, there is not. Okay. Oof. All right. I'm going to, this has been a long session. Uh, so for everybody who, you guys stay here. Uh, for everybody who's watching and listening, um, I'm going to go do quick round robin. It's been an hour and 40 minutes. You guys have been freaking awesome. Those of you tuning in and tuning out, I get it. Um, Paul Marmerstein, where uh, can people find you? We call him uh, Sonic Boom here on the show, guys, because he just blows people away with all the lead generation he gets. So, Sonic Boom, uh, location information, how can people reach out to you and uh, maybe get together with you and uh, talk strategy and guitars? Oh, you can reach me at my email. Uh, at, by the way, I have, my, I have a website now, it's called Rock. Rock and roll, R R O C K N R O L L dash realty, rock and roll realty, rock and roll dash realty at, uh, well, rock and roll realty.com. But uh, I'm going to find a better name. But that's how you can find my website right now, find out what homes I have. And uh, you can, my email is paulblackrealty at gmail.com. And I mostly sell in the San Bernardino Mountains, all the way from Crestline, Lake Arrowhead, Running Springs, Big Bear, uh, all the mountain towns. San Francisco. And I, and I sell in LA, too. Francisco. Okay. I like it. So, rock and roll realty, right? Rock and roll dash realty. And the... Why don't you just do R&R dash realty? Why did I think of that, Greg? Where were you when I was trying to come up with the uh, maybe R&R R &R, R &R could be uh, rest R&R &R Realty, baby. We're here to serve. Rest and relax. Oh, yeah. This is what we stand for. Oh, Let's no, make it happen, really people. Appreciate. Yeah, hey, no worries. I appreciate it. All right. All right, I'll change it. That's also dyslexic. Dyslexia kicking in. I'm like, how the fuck am I going to spell all that? Screw mm -hmm. that. I'm R&R &R dash, R &R dash Realty. Okay, I'm done I'm with that. Um... Barton, uh, before you keep the calls, give us some uh, information where people get a hold of you um, and your favorite style of prospecting, given that you are, I'm assuming, you're a Gen Z. Is that correct? Gen Z? Uh, I guess so. Fuck, yeah. man, how old are you? I'm 20. I think you'd be Gen Z. You'd be Gen Z, I think. Or is there a younger version of you out there somewhere? Uh, no, I'm the youngest. <laughs> okay, Gen Z. Gen Z it is. So as a young, you know, aspiring, soon to be master of the universe of all things real estate in Southern California and coming to us, a theater near you and all across the United States, uh, give us a few ideas and thoughts and theories of kind of um, where you see marketing going and how you're going to build out besides calls. Uh, yeah. So I think, you know, the voice to voice, door to door, you know, anything in person or at least, you know, voice to voice, that's, you know, some people say that calling is dead and everything, but, you know, it's at the end of the day, this is sales. And if you don't talk to somebody, it's, yep. you're, you're not going to, you're not going to sell anything. So uh, I think that always has a place in real estate or any kind of sales career. So I do see myself making calls, um, you know, just like you guys for like throughout my whole career. Uh, but, you know, eventually I think the goal is to um, build a big enough database or, you know, big enough clientele that you don't have to prospect or actively prospect every day. Mm -hmm. And you could kind of just uh, just have referrals just um, or just building your brand. I think that's another important thing is just making yourself aware in your in your market and in your community. And so I think video is also, you know, one of the best ways to get yourself out there. And I really like to make content revolving around like home buyer tips or uh, just real estate education because I, I just like teaching about it. Uh, so, yeah, I think video, 
cold calls. And then I do a little bit of door knocking too with my company. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that works really well if you have a reason. Like we've done a lot of door knocking to um, make off-market properties aware. Like, hey, your neighbor is selling and I'm just curious if you guys are interested. And a lot of neighbors uh, like to know about that stuff. And so I've gotten a lot of contacts like that. Uh, yeah. And also email marketing too. I have a, I have an email newsletter that goes out. And if you guys are interested, um, you could just reach out to me and I can add you guys onto it. Oh, well, uh, how, yeah, how can they reach out to you? How can they reach out, reach out to you? Yeah. So you can email me, um, at Varton or I could write it down too. Uh, that Varton. would be very helpful. Yeah. <laughs> And guys, Vartan, for all the dyslexic out there, it's it's actually phonetically pretty easy. It's V-A-R-T-A-N. It's actually phonetically perfect. Yeah, no, I, believe it or not, I get a lot of people that mispronounce my name. Um, Fuck like me in the beginning of, our, beginning of our conversation. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Vartan, can I ask you a question? When you do your door knocking, what do you say? Or what would your approach when you knock on doors and somebody answers? So... Yeah. So usually, like I said, uh, it's usually a, a more warm door knock because we'll we'll have like a listing in the area, and mm -hmm. uh, usually we like to door knock before it goes on the market to give the neighbors a, an opportunity to look at the house or, you know, maybe um, write an offer on the house before it goes on the market. Um, and we've gotten a pretty good response to that. And we usually just say, um, "Hey, my name is Vartan. I'm a local realtor." Uh, just wanted to spread some news. One of your neighbors down on, and then we'll we'll mention the street name so they it's just builds more familiarity. Uh, one of them, one of your neighbors down on Main Street is selling their house, and I was just curious: Are you guys interested, or um, do you maybe have friends or family that might be interested in moving to the area? And usually, they they will be interested or at least curious to see what the inside looks like. And then uh, we'll just say, "Hey, I'm." Um, if, if you would like to see the photos and the video walkthrough, we could send it to your email and then we get their email like that. Beautiful. Uh, Barton, I want you to do something for me. There's a good gentleman up here. His name is Glenn Twiddle. He's on the, he's on the screen right now. He is, um, arguably the largest and most influential real estate coach in Australia and New Zealand and expanding out rapidly. Uh, dear, dear personal close friend of mine um i would highly recommend you reach out to him and his staff um and because the, some of the stuff that he's doing down there i think would fit perfectly uh into kind of which with the direction you're going especially since you're out of la i think there's some there's some things that you could really learn from glenn and he's got a ton of knowledge online so go follow him everybody go follow glenn twiddle immediately because he will help you trust me and Glenn thinks I drink a lot because I'm promoting him. Yeah. Well, when it comes to drinking a lot, I got water with lemon juice and uh, one beer. So liquids. Yes. A lot of liquids, but not going to do the job. Barton, you're awesome. Promise us one thing. Are you ready? Hey, Barton, your, your, yes. num your phone number is missing a digit. Uh, oh, I did Sorry about that. Oh, Glenn drinks too much. I, I really think not that's not the case um okay let's get that number back up there all right boys and girls ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching thanks for hanging out call follow barton on everything you guys can find, find him on again that is v-a-r-t-a-n he's a young hustler grinder crusher future icon in real estate business here around the world and especially here we are lowly state of california so all you boys and girls watching and listening and it is now an hour and 48 minutes into this thing i love you to pieces this is literally double as long as usual Go out there, love on somebody in a non-weird way, and I'll see you guys in the next 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 round of calls. Until then, peace out, ninjas. We gone.